Welcome to Chemistry Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about dinitrogen. Dinitrogen. This is the second part of P block elements. Second part of P block element. In first part, we discuss group 15 elements, physical properties of group 15 elements, chemical properties of group 15 elements, anomalous properties of nitrogen. These things already we discussed in first part. You have to watch first part, then watch this video. Here we have to discuss about dinitrogen. First one, preparation of dinitrogen. Preparation of dinitrogen. First one here we have to discuss here commercial method of preparation of dinitrogen. Commercial method to prepare dinitrogen. Fractional distillation of air. We know air is a mixture of different gases. Air which contains 78 percentage of nitrogen, 21 percentage of oxygen. Okay, so most of the content of air it is nitrogen. From air we can separate nitrogen by fractional distillation. Okay, this method of preparation called commercial method. This is the commercial method for the preparation of dinitrogen. Clear? Second one in laboratory. Laboratory method to prepare dinitrogen. Ammonium chloride reacted with the sodium nitrate. Ammonium chloride and sodium nitrate reacting together it produce dinitrogen. See here ammonium chloride reacted with the sodium nitrate NaNO3. Sodium nitrate it produce dinitrogen. Dinitrogen mean N2. Okay nitrogen with a diatomic that's why it called dinitrogen okay when ammonium chloride reacted with sodium nitrate it produced dinitrogen with water and sodium chloride this is one of the laboratory method to prepare dinitrogen another method to prepare dinitrogen another another method dichromate ammonium dichromate look here ammonium dichromate on strong heating it produce um, uh, it produces dinitrogen and water and chromium oxide. Chromium oxide. So these are the two methods to prepare uh, dinitrogen in laboratory. First one, ammonium chloride on strong heating with the sodium nitrate. It produces dinitrogen. Second one, ammonium dichromate. Ammonium dichromate on strong heating. It produces dinitrogen chromium oxide and water these are the two method uh, for the preparation of dinitrogen in laborat laboratory okay and here another one third method the preparation of dinitrogen Th third one very pure dinitrogen can be can be produced by produced from azide barium azide or sodium azide look here ba ba n3 twice or na n3 twice this compound called barium azide or sodium azide barium azide or sodium azide on strong heating it produce dinitrogen look here ba n3 twice or na n3 twice it is called barium azide or sodium azide on strong heating it produce barium and sodium barium or sodium will be separated separate out and it produce dinitrogen clear so these are the three method three different method to prepare dinitrogen first one we discuss industrial method or commercial method commercially dinitrogen produced by fractional distillation of air clear then we discuss in laboratory laboratory method ammonium chloride reacted with the sodium nitrate it produced dinitrogen another one ammonium dichromate on strong heating it produced dinitrogen these two method ammonium chloride and sodium nitrate ammonium dichromate on strong heating these are the two method of preparation of dinitrogen in laboratory the third one very pure dinitrogen can be prepared from azide barium azide 
और सोडियम अजाइड ऑन स्ट्रॉन्ग हीटिंग इट प्रोड्यूस डाई नाइट्रोजन क्लियर ओके नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डाई नाइट्रोजन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डाई नाइट्रोजन ओके डाई नाइट्रोजन और नाइट्रोजन इट इज कलरलेस टेस्टलेस एंड इनर्ट गैसेस नाइट्रोजन इट इज इनर्ट गैसेस इनर्ट गैसेस मीन एट नॉर्मल टेंपरेचर नाइट्रोजन इज अनरिएक्टिव डू नॉट रिएक्ट एट नॉर्मल कंडीशन ओके and here at very high temperature at very high temperature nitrogen react with the metals forms ionic compounds nitrogen react with the metals at very high temperature and form ionic compounds okay and another one we have to understand here nitrogen react with hydrogen nitrogen react with hydrogen at 700 kelvin 200 atmospheric pressure and iron catalyst it produce ammonia and this process is called haber process haber process haber process mean production of ammonia nitrogen react with hydrogen at 700 kelvin 200 atmospheric pressure and iron catalyst it produce ammonia this process is called haber process also nitrogen react with oxygen at very high temperature around 2000 kelvin it produce nitric oxide nitric oxide mean no okay nitrogen react with oxygen at very high temperature it produce nitric oxide clear so here we discuss uh, different properties of nitrogen nitrogen it is colorless odorless tasteless gases odorless it do not produce any smell okay nitrogen it is colorless odorless tasteless gas and also it is non toxic nitrogen it is non toxic there are two isotope for nitrogen n14 and n15 n14 nitrogen with atomic mass 14 nitrogen with atomic mass 15 these are the two isotopes of dinitrogen clear also we discuss nitrogen it is inert at normal temperature dinitrogen do not react clear at very high temperature nitrogen react with the metals form ionic compounds example for this lithium react with the nitrogen it form lithium nitride lithium nitride magnesium react with the nitrogen at a very high temperature it form magnesium nitride lithium nitride magnesium nitride okay nitrogen react with the hydrogen it produce nh3 at 700 kelvin around 773 kelvin and iron catalyst 200 atmospheric pressure it produce nh3 this process is called haber process haber process okay and the delta h formation for this chemical reaction is minus 46 minus 46 kilojoule per mole delta h formation for this chemical reaction formation of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen it is exothermic reaction here delta h formation it is minus 46 okay so here delta h minus showing this chemical reaction is exothermic reaction clear another chemical reaction nitrogen at very high temperature it react with the oxygen okay very high temperature around 2000 kelvin it produce no nitric oxide clear so these are the things we have to understand about properties of di nitrogen clear okay next one we have to understand here different uses of di nitrogen nitrogen used in the manufacturing of ammonia nitrogen used to make ammonia also nitrogen used to make inert atmosphere especially in industry nitrogen used to make inert unreactive atmosphere inert atmosphere okay also nitrogen nitrogen used to preserve food also nitrogen used as a refrigerant 
nitrogen used as a refrigerant to preserve food biological materials also nitrogen used in uh, cryo surgery cryo surgery so these are the different uses of nitrogen nitrogen used nitrogen used in manufacturing of ammonia nitrogen used in paper process nitrogen used as a refrigerant nitrogen used as refrigerant to preserve food biological materials also also here nitrogen used in cryo surgery cryo surgery okay and here nitrogen used to make inert atmosphere in industry so these are the different uses of nitrogen we have to understand about ammonia okay here first one we have to understand small quantity of ammonia produced by naturally nitrogen containing matter such as urea after decomposition it produce ammonia okay so here we have we have different methods different way to produce ammonia okay laboratory method large scale production and here first one we have to discuss here small quantity of ammonia produced naturally nitrogen containing matter example urea after decomposition it produce ammonia okay look here here uh, carbon monoxide co nh3 co nh2 twice it represent ammonia co nh2 twice it represent ammonia ammonia in presence of water it will change to ammonium carbonate ammonia with water it will change to ammonium carbonate this ammonium carbonate after decomposition it produce ammonia carbon dioxide and water this is the method this is the way to produce ammonia naturally okay first first year urea in presence of water it change to ammonium carbonate ammonium carbonate after decomposition it produced ammonia water and carbon dioxide next one we have to understand how ammonia produce small scale laboratory method to produce ammonia ammonium salt reacted with the alkali it produce ammonia salt and water ammonium salt in presence of alkali it produce ammonia water and and the salt look here ammonium salt i said ammonium salt okay ammonium salt example ammonium chloride ammonium sulfate in presence of alkali such as sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide it produce ammonia okay ammonium chloride calcium hydroxide it produce ammonia water and calcium chloride okay here calcium chloride it is salt okay another example ammonium salt it reacted with the sodium hydroxide it produce ammonia sodium sulfate and water so here this is the laboratory method or small scale production of ammonia alkali reacted with the ammonium salt it produce ammonia salt and water clear third one we have to understand here large scale production of ammonia large scale production of ammonia mean haber process we discussed already haber process large scale production of ammonia haber process nitrogen react with the hydrogen nitrogen react with the hydrogen it produce ammonia okay the optimum condition for this chemical reaction is temperature 700 or 773 kelvin okay pressure 200 atmospheric pressure or you can say 200 times 10 power 5 200 times 10 power 5 pascal or 200 atmospheric pressure okay and the uh, and the catalyst catalyst generally we will say iron used as catalyst or specifically we can say iron youth iron oxide with small quantity of potassium oxide or aluminum oxide used as catalyst 
so this is the optimum condition for haber process temperature 700 kelvin pressure 200 times 10 power 5 pascal and the catalyst iron u iron oxide used as catalyst with small quantity of potassium oxide and aluminum oxide clear so these are the things we have to understand about production of uh, production of ammonia small amount of small quantity of ammonia produced naturally by decomposition of nitrogen containing matter such as urea small quantity of ammonia produced by uh, reaction between alkali and ammonium salt and large scale production of uh, ammonia haber process clear okay next one we have to understand here properties of ammonia next one we have to understand here properties of ammonia ammonia is colorless gas with pungent smell ammonia is colorless gas with pungent smell and ammonia will dissolve in the water and it produce OH minus ions that means ammonia act as a weak base ammonia react with the acid it produce different type of salt ammonia reacted with hydrochloric acid it produce ammonium chloride ammonia reacted with sulfuric acid it produce ammonium sulfate okay so here we have to discuss here different properties of ammonia first one we discuss here ammonia it is colorless gas with a pungent smell ammonia it is colorless gas with a pungent smell also here we discuss uh, ammonia shows ammonia shows high melting and boiling point than expected ammonia shows higher melting and boiling point than expected because ammonia itself it make intermolecular hydrogen bond ammonia make intermolecular hydrogen bond that's why ammonia shows higher melting and boiling point okay then we have to discuss here ammonia dissolve in the water and it produce OH minus ions ammonia dissolve in the water and it produce OH minus ion that means ammonia act as a weak base ammonia react with a different type of acid because ammonia act as base it will react with it will react with a different type of acid and it produce salt ammonia reacted with hydrochloric acid it produce ammonium chloride ammonia reacted with the sulfuric acid it produce ammonium sulfate clear then we have to understand here ammonia reacted with fe3 plus ammonia in presence of fe3 plus it produce red brown precipitate also ammonia in presence of fe2 plus it produce green precipitate ammonia in presence of zn2 plus zinc 2 plus it produce white precipitate look here this is ammonia ammonia in presence of ammonia or ammonium hydroxide aqueous ammonia aqueous ammonia it will be in the form of ammonium hydroxide okay so ammonia hydroxide it react with the fe3 plus look here here if we iron chloride FeCl3 mean here Fe3 plus it reacted with ammonium hydroxide it producing Fe2O3 dot XH2O okay iron oxide with water molecule it showing red precipitate um, and ammonium chloride will be side product similarly I told you here ammonia in presence of Zn2 plus it producing white precipitate aqueous ammonia it will be in the form of ammonium hydroxide it react with zinc compound zn2 plus it produce zinc hydroxide zinc hydroxide it will be white precipitate okay and here ammonium sulfate will be side product clear so these are the different properties of ammonia here we discuss ammonia it is colorless gas with pungent smell ammonia dissolve in the water produce OH minus and it behave like base okay and here uh, ammonia shows higher melting and boiling point than expected because it make intermolecular hydrogen bond 
ammonia reacted with different type of acid it produce uh, salt example ammonium chloride ammonium sulfate okay then we discuss ammonia in presence of fe2 plus green precipitate ammonia in presence of fe3 plus red brown precipitate ammonia in presence of zinc 2 plus it will be white precipitate okay next one we have to understand here ammonia act as a lewis base according to lewis base substance which donate electron pair act as a lewis base look here ammonia in in ammonia nitrogen which contain lone pair electron this lone pair electron can donate to different type of substance look here one example here nitrogen donate electron pair to boron so here substance which donate electron pair it act as lewis base the substance which accept electron pair it is it act as lewis acid so here nh3 it is lewis acid because it donate which donate electron pair okay so substance which donate donate electron pair it is lewis acid okay also nh3 it donate electron pair to different type of metals and it form coordination complex okay nh3 it donate electron pair it donate electron pair to different type of metals and form coordination complex clear after this these are the different properties of ammonia after this next one we have to understand here uses of ammonia different uses of ammonia ammonia used to make fertilizer ammonia used to make different type of fertilizer fertilizers okay for example ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate okay this type this type of fertilizer uh, made from ammonia okay liquid ammonia used as refrigerant liquid ammonia used as refrigerant another use of ammonia ammonia used to make nitric acid these are the different uses of ammonia clear ammonia used as ammonia used to make fertilizer example ammonium ammonium sulfate ammonium phosphate potassium nitrate this type of fertilizers are made from ammonia and another thing ammonia used to make nitric acid okay liquid ammonia liquid ammonia used as a refrigerant these are the different uses of ammonia Clear. next one we have to understand here different type of oxide oxides of nitrogen nitrogen form different type of oxides with different oxidation state okay so here we have to understand here different type of oxides of nitrogen here nitrogen dinitrogen oxide <coughs> dinitrogen oxide dinitrogen oxide nitrogen monoxide these two are colorless gas these two are colorless gas also they are neutral substance they are not acidic they are not basic we have to understand here basically oxides of nitrogen are they are acidic okay only two oxides of nitrogen they are neutral which contain only one oxygen rest of them which contain more than one oxygen and they are acidic you can remember like this okay so n2o and no there they are colorless gas and they are neutral substance and their oxidation state plus 1 and plus 2 you can find their oxidation state very easily you learned this in grade 11 here oxygen it is minus 2 oxidation state so you have to find oxidation state of nitrogen so 2y minus 2 equal 0 okay so 2y equal to plus 2 so y equal to 2 by 2 it will be 1 so here here nitrogen plus 1 oxidation state similarly you can find oxidation state of nitrogen in each case here oxygen minus 2 accordingly you can find their oxidation state so you understand here 
oxides of nitrogen which contain only one oxygen here N2O and NO they are colorless gas and they are neutral substance and you know nitrogen dioxide we did this type of uh, we did many chemical experiment in uh, laboratory which produce nitrogen dioxide nitrogen dioxide it is brown gas okay nitrogen dioxide it is brown gas also it is acidic i told you rest of them acidic only these two neutral no basic okay so here nitrogen dioxide it is it is brown gas and it is acidic also here n2o3 n2o3 it is blue solid and it is acidic so we have we have two colored nitrogen oxide here nitrogen dioxide it is brown gas n2o3 it is blue solid rest of them are colorless colorless okay so only two colored nitrogen dioxide it is brown n2o3 it is blue rest of them colorless also i told you oxides which contain one oxygen n2o and no they are they are neutral substance rest of them are acidic okay and you can find their oxidation state this way clear so we discuss here n2o3 plus 3 oxidation state blue solid acidic no2 brown gas and plus 4 oxidation state n2o4 plus 4 oxidation state colorless liquid or solid and they are acidic clear and here n2o5 it will be plus 5 colorless solid and it is acidic okay okay next one we have to understand here nitric acid we have to understand here nitric acid here first we have to discuss nitrogen reacted with oxygen it form oxo acid oxo acid look here <clears throat> nitrogen reacted with oxygen it form h2n2o2 h2n2o2 mean hyponitrous acid h2n2o2 hyponitrous acid hno2 hno2 mean nitrous acid hno3 nitric acid nitric acid is very important acid out of this and we have to study more details about this so here h2n2o2 hyponitrous acid hno2 nitrous acid hno3 nitric acid so we are going to study more details about hno3 clear okay next one we have to understand here preparation of nitric acid preparation of nitric acid okay so here small scale production small scale production mean laboratory method of production of nitric acid nitric acid produced by sodium nitrate sodium nitrate reacted with sulfuric acid we can produce we can produce nitric acid sodium nitrate reacted with the sulfuric acid it produce nitric acid and sodium hydrogen sulfate this is the laboratory method of preparation of nitric acid okay sodium nitrate reacted with the sulfuric acid it produced nitric acid this is the laboratory method of preparation of nitric acid clear next one we have to understand here large scale production Large scale production means industrial method of production of sulfuric acid. This method is called Ostwald's process. This method is called Ostwald's process. We learned large scale production of ammonia, Haber process. Similarly, large scale production of nitric acid, it is called Ostwald process. In Ostwald process, first step, there are different steps. First step, ammonia after oxidation, it form nitric oxide. <clears throat> ammonia after reacting with the oxygen at a very high temperature and uh, using catalyst, platinum and rhodium, it form nitric oxide, nitrogen monoxide. This nitrogen monoxide again after oxidation, it will change to nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide after hydrolysis it form nitric acid 
and these are the different steps for the production of nitric acid clear so first step ammonia after ammonia after oxidation it will be it will change to nitric oxide and here 500 kelvin temperature used 500 kelvin pressure 9 bar low pressure okay 9 bar okay similarly platinum or rhodium used as catalyst so here ammonia changes to nitric oxide nitrogen monoxide clear then this nitrogen monoxide again oxidation it will be nitrogen dioxide nitrogen dioxide after hydrolysis it will be nitric acid this is the method of preparation of nitric acid uh, this is the large scale production and this is called Oswald's process Oswald process okay nitric acid obtained by this method okay it it can concentrate to it can concentrate to 68 percentage by fractional distillation okay the nitric acid obtained by this method it is not concentrated we can make it concentrated up to 68 percentage by fractional distillation again 68 percentage concentrated nitric acid we can change to 98 percentage concentrated acid by dehydration dehydration of nitric acid with the concentrated sulfuric acid okay using concentrated sulfuric acid we will remove water we have to do dehydration after dehydration 68 percentage concentrated nitric acid will change to 98 percentage concentrated acid okay so these are the different uh, these are the different methods for the production of nitric acid clear okay next one we have to understand here different properties of nitric acid okay different properties of nitric acid here here nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent it will attack most of the metals except noble metals okay except silver gold platinum this type of native metals do not attack with nitric acid okay other metals will be other metals will react with concentrated nitric acid clear look here here one example copper reactor with copper reactor with the dilute nitric acid it form copper nitrate zinc reactor with concentrated nitric acid it form zinc nitrate so this type of metals will react with the nitric acid because nitric acid it is strong oxidizing agent but metals such as uh, silver gold platinum this type of native metals do not attack with nitric acid okay also here we have to understand some of some metals some metals such as aluminium chromium do not dissolve in in nitric acid because on the metal surface there is there is a passive layer there is unreactive metal oxide layer this metal oxide layer these are unreactive and it protect the metal from further chemical reaction so here we discuss some metals such as chromium and aluminium they do not dissolve in in nitric acid because on the surface of metal there is a passive layer this layer of metal oxide metal oxide layer on the surface of metal for example on the surface of aluminium there is aluminium oxide layer on the surface of chromium there is chromium oxide layer they are unreactive highly unreactive okay that's why that's why this type of metals do not dissolve in nitric acid clear and here next point we have to understand here concentrated nitric acid will react with non-metals here we discussed concentrated nitric acid will react with the metals here we have to understand concentrated nitric acid also react with the non-metals 
and forms its compound for example carbon reacted with carbon reacted with nitric acid it formed carbon dioxide sulfur reacted with nitric acid formed sulfuric acid phosphorus reacted with nitric acid it formed phosphoric acid okay phosphorus phosphoric acid sulfur sulfuric acid carbon formed carbon dioxide also iodine form iodic acid iodine iodic acid okay these are the different compounds formed when nitric acid reacted with the non metals so here we discuss different properties of nitric acid nitric acid it is colorless liquid okay and it is strong oxidizing agent it will attack most of the metals except noble metals such as silver gold platinum okay this is example copper reacted with the nitric acid copper nitrate zinc reacted with the nitric acid zinc nitrate some metals like aluminum and chromium do not dissolve in nitric acid because on the surface of this type of metals there is a unreactive metal oxide layer okay and here we discuss non metals reacted with the nitric acid form this type of compounds clear okay last part of this video we have to discuss here brown ring test we know brown ring test it used to test presence of nitrate here fe2 plus from ferrous sulfate it will react with it will react with nitrate it form nitric oxide again fe2 plus reacted with the nitric oxide it form a, a brown complex okay so here we have to discuss here brown ring test here fe2 plus reacted look here fe2 plus reacted with the nitrate it form nitric oxide nitric oxide with nitric oxide there is fe2 plus and h2o this is i written here fe2 plus plus h2o a compound this compound reacted with here this compound mean here fe2 plus again this fe2 plus reacted with nitric oxide it form a brown complex this is brown complex clear so this is brown ring test the chemical reaction taking place in brown ring test okay brown ring test used to test presence of nitrate and this is the chemical formula of the brown complex formed clear so these are the things we have to discuss in this chapter okay and rest of the part we will discuss in next video so thank you for watching this channel